Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in the last few videos the last few weeks I've been doing quite a bit of helicopter videos and I keep forgetting this old bird the Bell 47 G and I still think that by far this is the best helicopter and today we're going to talk about why. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Alright guys, so here we are, we're in a um, brand new, uh, freshly started Bell 47G helicopter. And as I said, we have been seeing a lot of helicopter development over the last few months. The H-135, the 145, and the most recently released SH Seahawk 60 and the Blackhawk 60. Um, and uh, this helicopter is one that I, I personally um, have definitely neglected and sort of forgotten about that she's here. Um, and uh, the thing about the Fly Inside Bell 47G is I do believe it is the best helicopter in the simulator still. It is definitely by far the most challenging. Um, it does use a similar uh, flight model process. Um, you have to use Fly Inside's Heli Manager, which is here. But if we go to Flight Model, you can see we're on realistic. I do have the uh, Enable Engine Governor and uh, enabled for now. And we're going to try to fly around. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to watch me make a fool of myself, so don't expect perfection here. Uh, but we're going to see if I can put any of the, the training or learning, I should say, that I've done in some of the other helicopters and things like DCS World and see if we can have any kind of decent experience in this helicopter because she is extremely challenging, extremely challenging. So let's go ahead and check some things out here. So we're going to add a little bit of power. I'm going to move this one real slowly. I'm going to aft on the cyclic a little bit. Let me move the mic back so I can sit back here. I'm very slowly adding collective. Like I said, this thing is no joke. And there she goes, man. There she goes. Come on. Alright, so we got a pitch forward. Let's set it back down. Mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Alright, so she likes to pitch aft. So here we go. A little bit left anti-torque. Forward on the cyclic. Oh, too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Mercy. Wow. 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 All right, so I'll tell you what we're going to try to do here. <clears throat> I am going to try to get my controls neutral here. Little forward cyclic. Again, adding that power. Here she comes. Less is more. There we go. Okay. Little less anti-torque. Okay, we're just we're not trying to do anything crazy right now. It is by far the most challenging of the helicopters. I am sitting here literally shaking, my shoulders are tense. That rotor shadow is really distracting, but I cannot express how small the movements on my physical flight stick that I'm making are just so gentle, so, so, so small. By far, by far, by far, much more challenging than any of the other helicopters that we currently have available. Alright, we're going to try get us moving now. We're in the Phoenix era, area, era, Phoenix area, gonna do some flying over the Phoenix here. <laughs> I can't even talk. You guys can probably hear the uh, the nervousness in, in, in my voice here. Wow, got some uh, graphical issues there. Work out, don't we? Okay, all right, easy, 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 easy. I'm, 
I'm trying to relax. I'm trying to look around. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, but this helicopter, if you give her the chance, man, she cuts loose from you so quick. So quick. I'm trying to get our airspeed going up a little bit. A bit more collective. And honestly, so I I'm going to tell you what. The right anti torque. You guys are going to catch me breaking sentences like that a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm doing just as much as I'm reminding myself here. Um, I mean, you guys have seen all plenty of my other videos with the helicopters. And, you know, I, as much as I love them, I, I really do. Um, none of them have the realism that this one does. Uh, fly Inside's helicopter, I don't know if it's... It, well, it's got to be the, uh, the heli manager, that third-party application that's running in the background there generating the flight model but uh, the, the work that it does is, is so intense um, if you crank it <clears throat> excuse me which I highly recommend you do if you're looking for a really good helicopter experience now this is a payware helicopter and I'm telling you right now it's worth every dime of it because it is I mean honestly let's call this what it is let's call it what it is if you're looking for a challenge and I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'm still gonna call this one. This is probably the most difficult aircraft. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Easy, 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 easy. This is probably the most difficult aircraft to fly in the simulator, hands down. Um, e even above the Corsair and the P 38, the P 40, you know, the Spitfire, you know, they can be extremely challenging, no, no doubt, you know. But this one will keep you on your toes, especially when you're learning it right from the start. And it'll keep you on your toes for days and days on end, depending on how much time you dedicate to it. I have not flown this thing in probably, gosh, honestly, uh, I'm shamefully going to have to admit, not since shortly after its launch. Uh, I did the video on it the day it was launched, the day it came out and I bought it. Um, and then uh, I flew it a few more times, but really haven't been around since. Um, I will say I'm doing much better than the last time. I, if, if memory serves, the last time I flew it, I crashed. Uh, twice, if memory serves. <laughs> um, yeah. But it is a great plane, or helicopter, excuse me, to go sightseeing in. And it's a great... <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you guys, you need to be as nervous as I am when you're flying this, unless you're you're just natural born badass with uh, helicopters, which uh, I love helicopters, but uh, as somebody pointed out in one of my previous videos, I clearly have a lot to learn about them, which I fully admit, you know, I, I take no offense to that comment. Um, you know, I, I have no problem, I have no problem admitting my ignorance to, to any topic, um, but uh, nonetheless, I, I love them. I love the principle of, of their flight. I love the challenge uh, that they bring. The UH-1 Huey in uh, DCS World is one of my favorite aircraft to fly, just because of uh, I think it's I think it's that constant fear with helicopters, uh, especially the older ones that don't have the autopilot systems, the fly-by-wire systems, or not fly-by-wire, uh, uh, automatic flight control system, uh, the AFCS. Um, you know your your SAS, your, your stability, you know augmentation systems and things like that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, this is, I mean, you see, what, what you see here is what you get. This, this, this is it. This is, as, this is as black and white as it gets. You know, as bare bones, crap. Um, and, and she will. She'll, uh, and, and, I, and I challenge you guys, you know, uh, to uh, uh, fly it at its full realism. And uh, sh she'll, she'll take you for your money. She'll take you for your money. Um, you know, if, if you're if you're like me and you really love that true simulation experience, Powerline, 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 um, it, this thing's gonna give it to you. I mean, you guys, I'm, like I said, I'm sure you guys can hear me sound like a fool in my voice right now. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got something in my throat. Can't shake it. Um, let's see. Landing. This is like, gosh, I wish they'd fix the AI traffic. This is Sky Harbor. It's an international hub, and it is empty. Oh, you know what? I wonder if I have AI traffic turned off. 
Okay, I'll be fair. That, that could be possible. Anyway, let's, let's stick to the, the chaos at hand here. Alright, I'm going to try to stabilize it. Oh, mercy. Come on. Come on. Easy. Got to stop that forward momentum. Stop the forward momentum. I'm not necessarily trying to do a full hover, but I'll bet I'm still doing 20 or 30 knots there. No, I'm not bothering to look at my airspeed indicator right now. Right now I'm just trying to... There we go, getting closer. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, so that's shaking. We're going into VRS. Okay, so we're falling still. I gotta add some forward momentum. Okay, vertical ring state. Uh-oh, what, what happened? Oh no! Oh! Did you guys see that? The fuel cut off! Alright. So we're back up and running now. Very simple aircraft to start. Let's try this again. So slight cyclic forward. Very slight. Left anti-torque. Here we go. Aft, 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 aft. Dang it, now I've done it. Now I've done it. Now I've done it. Come on, settle down. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, mercy. Okay. Okay. Wasn't sure that was going to end well. Alright. So, we're just going to do a quick circuit here. Just, just around these buildings here. Try to come in for an approach. I don't want to just pick up and set back down. I want to try a very horrible, awful approach. Definitely a lot of anti-torque required. Um, rudder pedals, or you better be one badass on the uh, twist grip, man. If you're going to fly at the at the realistic setting. Okay. So, coming in... Clearance for landing. I'm already oscillating like a fool. Mercy. Alright. So now we're gonna let her torque to the right. Get back over to our landing area. Nice and easy. Trying to maintain that uh, roughly three degree ish glide slope. Probably way further than that now. Still real high. Don't want to come in full uh, vertical landing. I don't. I don't recommend trying that until you you really get comfortable. The other helicopters, I have no problem doing that with. This one, absolutely not. This one, give yourself that forward momentum. You're gonna want it because. got this. Work with me, little lady. Easy, easy, easy. Gosh, we're coming down so fast. There she goes. Okay. It doesn't look as fast as what it really is. And when you get down that last couple feet, man, this thing wants to wander all over the place. Ah, like that. Like that. Like that. No, 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 no. Oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. I'm telling you. It's that last few feet. It's that last few feet. It's terrifying. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, and it's just instant. Ah, I gotta readjust my feet. Alright, come on. Set back up. We're going to try to, for that same square here. Ah, my forearm's starting to hurt. I'm tensing up too much. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't. You know how tense we get on these simulators. Trying to look forward. I'm trying to look forward versus looking down at the ground right in front of me. I'm trying to just get a focal point. Easy, 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 easy. Here it comes, here it comes. No, 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 no. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Don't 
Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Please, God, don't do it again. Ugh. Oh, wow. That was a hideous landing. Absolutely hideous. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh, mercy. Dude, okay, so my forearms hurt, my shoulders hurt, my hands are, like, tensed up. Um, I... I can't stress enough, guys. I really recommend this aircraft. If you haven't checked it out, there'll be a link down in the description before. Again, it is a payware aircraft. But if, if you're looking for a great helicopter that's fun to fly around your hometown in, or maybe do a little bush trip, you know, something small within range, <clears throat> take yourself back to Korea and rock some, you know, mash kind of thing going on, you know, that, that's absolutely uh, th this helicopter's sweet spot. Not to mention, as you can tell, it is, again, I'm going to say it one more time, by far the most challenging aircraft I believe to currently exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator. It is so tough. Um, it, it's, it's, and yet it's fun when you start getting into the groove of it and you really start smoothing it out and, you're, and you start to relax a little bit. You start feeling like, all right, I'm getting this, right? This is the helicopter that does it for you. And then just about as quickly as you start to relax and feel like, you know, uh, you belong in the next uh, Top Gun movie that involves a helicopter, it takes it away from you and you're sweating your face off. So, uh, a really great time, guys. It's been a long time since I've flown this aircraft. It's obviously gone through a couple of updates since I last did the review on it. <clears throat> uh, it's just, it's, it's even more spectacular than the last time I remember flying it. So, again, check that out in the link description below. If you guys fly this aircraft today, uh, let me know what your experiences of it is. Let me know how, what you guys think of it. And, and uh, hopefully you guys are far more proficient than uh, clearly I am with this helicopter. But that's something hopefully will change in the future. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful week. And as always, stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you in the next one.